Okay, let's look at some formatting. So we moved a little bit along the toolbar. We talked about numbers. Now let's talk about how to format and um, manipulate the text and sort of the look and feel of our, of our spreadsheet here. So the first one I want to talk about, I actually brushed over a little bit, and this is this um, button right here that looks like the little paint roller, and that's called the paint format or the, or the format painter. So um, I intentionally sort of messed up this data. Sometimes we'll inherit spreadsheets that look like this where we get just totally different formatting for a chunk of the data that we have, and some of the cells just don't look the same as others. So you can see it's a pretty consistent format. It's just the default font and, and size and color and everything like that, except for these rows um, six through 19 here. And let's just say I want to get it all back um, looking standardized. So what I can do, I can click on any cell that has the format that I want. So let's say I want um, the format of this email address and, and it's just Arial 10 um, with a black text color. I'm just gonna click this paint format and you can see that turned green. And I kind of got those dashed lines across that cell. Now I'll just click and drag on any area that I want to change. So I want to change this whole range. And once I let go of my mouse button, it's going to paint that format. It's going to take that format and paint it across all of those others. Um, you can see it did adjust this date though. So um, because, I, because I had selected an email address, it had kind of changed the format of that date. So I'm gonna do my Command Z, or if you're on a Windows computer, Control Z to undo that. And now I'm back here, and I'm now in this case, I'm gonna actually pick the format, I'm gonna paint it from one that has the date involved because I wanna keep that format of the date. I don't want my date looking really weird too. And I think that happened because I was in the email address um, column when I did that. So again, my, my thing's green now, so I just click and drag over all the cells I wanna change. And now I do that um, and, and that date's changed. But now you see, um, now I've got dates because it was painting that, so it just wasn't really liking that. So what I'm gonna do here just to change this is go into the column and actually reformat this um, as just automatic text. So I'll go and, and just format that one at a time. So it was a two-step process instead of a one, but now my data's looking really clean um, and nice and, and even. Um, the same goes if we're not trying to restore changes, if we actually wanna make changes. So let's say, um, let's say I had one part of my header, this timestamp, maybe had a really pretty background on it and um, was a font choice that I liked and maybe even let's say this was centered horizontally and centered vertically. So we have this and we're like, oh, I actually would rather prefer my whole header to stand out um, just like the timestamp one does. I can do the same thing. I can, I can select that cell and then click the paint format and then just drag it over my header row here for all the other cells I wanna change. So now I've, I've made my header look pretty good, but you can see because I increased the font size, I can't really read some of this. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna select this whole row and do something called text wrapping. Because really, if I have something that goes across outside of the boundaries of that width of that column, I want it to wrap around and just make a little bit of a longer column and make it a little more legible for me. So I'm gonna come up here to this one that says text wrapping. And you can see that icon even shows what it's doing. It's kind of getting to the border of that cell and it's just ending. So I'm gonna drop that and there's this one in the middle that says wrap where you can sort of even see visually that it's gonna wrap that text around. And once I click that, it makes the height of it a little bit different, but that's my, that's my header row, so that's fine by me. And now they're all a really nice format um, and all, all standardized across. Um, the other ones in this toolbar are pretty self-explanatory. We've all used um, word processors by now, so we're pretty familiar with changing the fonts if we like, um, changing the sizes of, of fields, making them bold, making them italics. We can strike through um, text. So um, in this font, it didn't quite show as well. So I'm gonna remove the italics from that and strike through. And you can see I, I kind of struck through the text there. We can obviously change colors to be whatever we want. And then this paint bucket is the fill color for the background. So say I wanted that on a blue background, I can do that. So again, I'm gonna control Z or command Z just to undo all those changes here and get that looking back um, the way it was. And the last thing I want to talk about is just um, some of the borders and alignment. So borders, I can select any range. So let me say I'm going to hit Control-A or Command-A if you're on a Mac. 
because if you remember from a previous video, that's gonna select all of the data um, that has something in it. So it's gonna select the whole range. If I click this button, this will also select the whole sheet, but it'll select all of the things out here that don't necessarily have data in it. So sometimes the keyboard shortcuts are a little bit better. I'm gonna hit Control A or Command A because I'm on a, on a Mac. And then I'm gonna change these borders. So you see, if I click this, I'll have some options. This is all of the borders, the outside and the inside. This would just be the inside borders, the horizontal borders or the vertical. I'm just gonna do all of the borders for now and just add that and maybe that'll make it a little bit easier to read. If I had wanted to, I'm gonna select all of that again with my keyboard shortcut. I could change those all to be center aligned or to align to the right um, border of that cell. And then I can change vertically as well if I want those formatted at the top of the cell. And it's not changing a lot down here because the cells are so short that the data doesn't really have anywhere to go. But you can see in my header, those all moved to the top or I can move them to the bottom. But I kinda of like to keep them just centered there. And we already talked a little bit about text wrapping. The last one I wanna talk about, I'm gonna select my header row again and talk about text rotation. So sometimes, as, as we have here, um, we wanna maybe rotate the text because it's just trying to fit a lot in there. So I could tilt that text up a little bit and you could see that it just doesn't have a whole lot of room to breathe right now. So if I, if I click on that row to highlight it and then you can see my little arrow changes um, from um, an arrow to a hand to that little up arrow, and I can drag that down. And now I have some wrapped, um, some wrapped text that is also tilted and I was able to fit that a little bit better um, in those cells. So when I did that though, it's still centered horizontally, but because I rotated it, now I need to actually put it in the middle, um, center it this way as well to keep, to keep that centered aligned for me. So that's just a little bit about formatting sheets. Um, a good way if you have a lot of data is to kind of tilt that up and, and you can still read those headers um, and then adding borders sometimes makes, makes it a little more legible. And we'll get a little bit more advanced into formatting in our next video.